Hello, welcome to the Encouraging Word of today. Today is Monday, and it is November the 14th, and we're going to pick up here in the wonderful and encouraging Word of God. As we do, picking up here in 1 Peter chapter 2, and he has had uh, this conversation with us about who we are in Christ, and since we have finally accepted him. Uh, but we must also never forget that there was a time when we had rejected him, and he reminds us of that here in 1 uh, Peter chapter 2, verse 10. He says these words, Which in time past were not a people, but now are the people of God. And so he says there was a time when you as well were not a people of God. You were a people of the world, a people of the flesh, a people of sin, and, uh, and you were separated, alienated from God, dead in your trespasses and sins. There was nothing you could do. But God, who is rich in mercy, quickened us and made us alive together with Christ Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. And he's called us now to walk in his truth. He says, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a particular people, that you should show forth the praise of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light which in times past were not a people, but now are the people of God. And then he says, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. See, none of us de deserve what God has given to us. And none of us deserve not to receive what God has not given to us already. And, uh, and so what grace and mercy that we have received, uh, we have received. And so he comes along, and in light of that, he comes and says, Dearly beloved, I beseech you. This is the strongest term for I implore you, I beg you, uh, I, I, am, I am pleading with you as strangers and pilgrims. <laughs> he says, this world, it comes after you, but you must realize that you're not of this world, that you have been called into something much more, more deeper, much more special much more fulfilling, uh, much more um, glorious than, than the stuff of this world. And he says, listen, this flesh is going to be a constant battle, and you must abstain from, you must run away from uh, those uh, lusty desires. He says, dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against your soul, which war against your soul. He says, your, your own body's at war with you and it's over your soul your soul is the most important part of you it is that which will last beyond the flesh is that which when we die when we close our eyes uh, at that very last time when we exhale that very last breath our soul immediately is going to be in one or two places it will be in the presence of god or it'll be in that eternal judgment place waiting for the great right throne judgment to be forever separated from the presence of God, and to be in a place where the Bible describes as utter welling and gnashing of teeth and darkness, where the fire is never quenched and the worm never dieth. It's a horrible place of torment for all of eternity. But God is saying, listen, if you would come to Jesus Christ, you would then be called out of darkness and into the marvelous light. And, and you may have not have been a people of God, but you can be a people of God. You can obtain mercy and you can fight the battle that's over your soul. And that is your flesh. And so he said, you must stay away as pilgrims and strangers. Don't try to fit in. <laughs> You'll never fit in in this world as a child of God. Uh, and so uh, the world may talk about God, but I promise you, it does not love God, nor does it desire God. It wants to fulfill the lust of the flesh. And that's exactly what we see in conversation in our country over all these different lifestyles and, and um, gender euphoria and all this stuff. It's, it's the lust of the flesh. And if you can't recognize that, then you are dead in your trespasses and sins. You are blinded uh, to the truth of God. You are not born again. You do not have the Holy Spirit. For if you did, you would see it very plainly and clearly. And so if you do see that, then you ought to give God just a shout of hallelujah right now as he says that you should show forth the praises of him who called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. And you ought to just walk around all day today just saying, God, thank you that I was not a people, but now I am a people. I have received mercy, 
and you have called me out of this world. You have called me into your kingdom and help me to fight the good fight. Help me to run the race. Help me to, to know that there is a crown of righteousness laid up for me in heaven. And not only to me, but all those who long and love your appearing. Oh, God, thank you for your grace and your mercy that you have shed upon our lives by your glorious truth and your glorious light. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for life. Thank you for forgiveness. Thank you for salvation. God, thank you for today. And I pray that through 1 Peter chapter 2 in these couple of verses that God inspires you today to give him praise who called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Therefore, abstain from those fleshly lusts which war against your soul and proclaim victory in your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and be encouraged.